Hi students, now uh, let me explain what is called the power in an AC circuit. So power in an AC circuit. Power in an AC circuit. Important to do. Power in an AC circuit. So what is the power rate of doing work and the So rate at which electrical energy is spent in an AC circuit is called power in an AC circuit. The rate at which electrical energy is spent in an AC circuit. Ashta than other power and the karita. So it is a power not ilbaritini. It is the power dissipated dissipate. It is a power dissipated in an AC circuit. It is a power dissipated in an AC circuit. Or in Baribodu, the rate at which the rate at which electrical energy is spent in an AC circuit. Okay, so it is given by it is given by not P is equal to VRMS into IRMS into cos phi. So this is the power in an AC circuit. Another important uh, equation P is equal to VRMS into IRMS into cos phi. So, here what is phi? It is phase difference between voltage and current and what is cos phi cos phi is nothing but power factor power factor P stands for true power and VRMS, IRMS stands for apparent power. Look at this. The rate at which electrical energy is spent in an A circuit is called power dissipated in an A circuit. How it is given? It is given by VRMS into IRMS into cos phi. So what is called phi? Phase difference between voltage and current. What is called cos phi? Power factor. What is called P? True power. What is VRMS into IRMS? Apparent power. Okay. Okay. Angit Radhan Ing Baribodu. That is true power equals True power equals apparent power into power factor.
power factor. Itra pari bodo mukla. Okay. Let me define another value, another different, another term called power factor. So power factor under inu thail korte ni. Another definition power factor important adu power factor. So, either na power factor can be defined as the ratio of true power to the apparent power and bodu or the cosine of the angle, phase angle, cosine of the phase angle between old age and current to the run bodu. Power factor, it is defined as It is defined as it is defined as cosine of angle. It is defined as cosine of phase angle and prithini. Cosine of phase angle. Between voltage and current, that is power factor is equal to cos phi. It is defined as cosine of the phase angle between voltage and current. Or that is power factor is equal to cos phi. Also, power factor also power factor can also be ready? Power factor can also be defined. Can also be defined as Ingerbalu. Can also be defined as the ratio of. Resistance power factor can also be defined as the ratio of resistance R to the impedance Z. Ready? Power factor is equal to R by Z. Ingo Makla Ingo Edward. Power factor is equal to R by Z. If you know Z, if you know R, we can find power factor. Okay. Fine. So now let us write down power factor for pure resistance, power factor for pure inductance and power factor for pure capacitance. Important. Power factor Power factor for pure resistance is one. Yeah, okay, because phi is equal to zero degree. 
cos 0 is equal to 1. Adetara power factor power factor for pure inductance is zero is zero okay because phi is equal to 90 degree cos 90 degree is equal to zero similarly power factor for pure capacitance is also zero. Here also because pi is 90 degree cos 90 is equal to zero. Makla very important do in one mark kali C T L Kelter. Power factor for pure resistance is 1. In case of pure resistance, voltage and current are in the same phase. Agagi, the difference is 0. Cos 0. Cos 0 is 1. Ange, power factor for pure inductance is 0. Power factor is 0. Phase difference is 90 degree. Alva, between voltage and current. Avaga, 590, cos 90 is 0. Power factor for pure capacitance is 0. Because even for pure capacitance, phase difference is 90 degree, cos 90 is 0. Okay, so uh, so much importance here. Suppose if you have uh, if you have uh, capacitance, inductance, resistance, all in series on the Ruthan Koli, you can find out the power factor. It lies between, nodi? so power factor, power factor in L C R circuit lies between zero and one. It neither zero nor one. It lies between zero and one. Yeah, okay. In case of L C R circuit. Okay. Hope you understood. Now there is one more term called wattless current. Okay. Pure inductance only power factor is zero. Power factor is zero means the average power dissipation is zero. In case of pure capacitance, power factor is zero. What do you mean by that? Power dissipation is zero. What do you understand by power dissipation is zero? No work is done. Energy will not I mean will not be spent. Current flows without the expenditure of energy. No power loss. No power loss. So that current in that circuit is called wattless current. No power is dissipated. Other than wattless power, wattless current and peritara. Okay. Clear. It is very clear. Wattless current. See, current flows without the expenditure of any energy. No energy is spent. No resistance at all there. Okay. So, no resistance means it may be either pure inductive or it may be either pure capacitance circuit. Aita. So, adana wattless current and karita rai. No power is dissipated. So, current flows without any expenditure of energy. So, that we call as wattless current. Nimike one mark le kelta rai. Wattless current. One mark le kelta rai matla. So, bari beka gata hai. It is a current in circuit. Not very simple. No? It is the current. It is the current in the circuit for which it is the current in the circuit. It is the current in circuit for which power dissipation 
power dissipation is zero. It is a current in circuit for which power dissipation is zero. Okay. Example Kodavadu. Example. The current in pure inductive circuit. Example one. Avaga current in pure inductive circuit example 2 current in pure capacitance or capacitive circuit Copy understood Makalali. So, wattless current and it is a current in the circuit for which power dissipation is zero. No power is spent. No energy is spent. Current flows without the expenditure of energy. It happens only in the case of pure inductive or pure capacitive. Because in case of pure inductive circuit, power factor is zero. Alba, you go through that. Five phase differences in the case of pure inductance. Phase difference is 90 degree. Cost 90 is Zero or Brutta. Hagagi, average power dissipated in that circuit is zero. Adana, the current corresponding to that power is called wattless current and characteristic. So the current it is a current in circuit for which power dissipation is zero. No power is dissipated in that circuit. Example, current in pure inductive circuit, current in pure capacitive circuit. Sir, in the case of pure resistive agitrainagata. Maklanim Gotirli, in case of pure resistive circuit, phase difference is zero, cos zero one. So power dissipation is maximum there. In case of pure resistive circuit, power dissipation is maximum. Arthvaitala, jasti power adi ali dissipate agate, loss agate. Other key nim observe Madirbodo to control the AC current. Normally we use inductance or capacitance. We are not going to use much resistance. If I use the resistance in controlling AC current, more power is dissipated. Ardha power is Hagagi, normally while using AC, resistance, resistances are not used to control the current. But we are using inductance on capacitance to control the AC circuit. Because if I use the inductance or capacitance, so the power dissipation is minimum or I mean this very less. But normally ideal case we power dissipation zero on the but uh, in uh, uh, normal cases power dissipation is minimum because normally inductance coil having some very small resistance high inductance very small resistance. So far small resistance uh, leads to small power dissipation that's it. Kadme power dissipation agatashte. So that is the meaning of wattless current. Okay. Now, what are called LC oscillation? Another important terminology called LC oscillations. Question Kelabodu, one mark Kali. What are LC oscillations? What are LC oscillations? L under inductance. C and the capacitance, LC oscillations. Uh, when the charged capacitor is allowed to discharge through an inductance, electrical energy, electrical field oscillates between electric field and magnetic field. Oscillation of the energy is oscillated. Change of the These oscillations are called LC oscillations. Alena Gatandra capacitor charge martin fully. Then it starts discharging through inductance. Aita magnetic field is produced. Again, the magnetic field uh, changes to electric field. That process will continue, repeat. Other now oscillation. Here the energy is oscillating between electrical and magnetic field, electric field and magnetic field. That's why it is called LC oscillations. When the capacitor is then fully charged. Fully charged, it starts discharging through inductance. So once complete charge, 
ಡಿಸ್ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಆವಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಂಡಕ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಫುಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಡಕ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಚಾರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೊ ಅವಾಗ ದಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಗೋಸ್ ಟು ದ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟರ್ ಮೀನ್ ವೈಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರಿವರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಎಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆಸಿಲೇಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಸಿ ವೆನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀ ತಿನ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ವೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ಎ ಚಾರ್ಜಡ್ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟರ್ when a charged capacitor is allowed to discharge through an inductor through an inductor electric field or energy electric field oscillations are produced electric field oscillations are produced these oscillations are called these oscillations are called lc oscillations see here the energy is uh, periodically changes from electric field to magnetic field magnetic field to electric field so when a charged capacitor is allowed to discharge through an inductor electric field oscillations are produced these oscillations are called lc oscillations in case of capacitance only electric field in case of inductance only magnetic field change aagta iruta so it oscillates periodically change aagta iruta so electrical energy to mechanical energy sorry magnetic energy magnetic energy to electrical energy so that oscillation takes place continuously so the expression for lc frequency of lc oscillation other the frequency nan barithini so ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀತ ನೋಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಈಗ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳಬಹುದು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಇದನ್ನ ಅವಾಗ ಇದನ್ನ ಬರೀರಿ F is equal to 1 by 2 pi root LC. Okay. So, resonant frequency is equal to this equation. Or, omega is equal to 1 by root LC. This is equal to this equation. Where, turn to L and R, inductance. C and R, capacitance. Capacitance of capacitor. And we can see both. Or simply inductance per rosa. C and R, capacitance. L and R, inductance of circuit. And total energy barithi ni vaga. Total energy. See, expression. for total energy of lc oscillation total energy andre nimge gottirutte energy stored in capacitor 
energy is stored in inductance. Alwa? Energy stored in capacity is half CV square. Energy stored in inductance is half Li square. Ashtay. So that is given by U is equal to half CV square plus half Li square. So, what is called U electromagnetic energy? Where U antandre total energy. Of CV square antandre energy stored in capacitor what is of li square it is the energy stored in inductor so particular again C and Tandra again, capacitance of capacitor. What is called V? Potential difference PD across capacitor. Okay, Makra. So, what is called L? L and Renu, inductance of inductor. Inductance of inductor. So, what is called I? Current in the inductor. Current in the inductor. Nodi. Here, the energy is transferred from capacitor to uh, inductor and then inductor to capacitor. That process will continue. Cyclic So, electrical energy to magnetic energy, magnetic energy to electrical energy. That process takes place periodically. Now, we can express the frequency. So, that frequency is given by 1 by 2 pi root LC. So, it can be asked for two marks. So, derivation not necessary. Just understand what are LC oscillations. The energy is periodically changing from one form to another form. From electrical to magnetic, then magnetic to electrical. So, that kind of oscillation is called LC oscillation. So, in inductance, energy is stored in magnetic way. In capacitor, energy is stored in electrical manner. Okay, so energy stored in capacity is electrical energy. Energy stored in mag uh, inductance is magnetic energy. That process that will repeat in a circuit continuously. So that is called that energy is oscillates between uh, inductance and capacitance, electrical to magnetic. So that kind of oscillation is called uh, LC oscillation. The frequency of that LC oscillation is given by 1 by 2 pi root LC or omega is equal to 1 by root LC. Now, what is the energy in LC uh, oscillation? So, what is the energy stored in capacitor of CV square? What is the energy stored in inductance of Li square? Okay, if it is fully charged, Andre only capacitor matter energy rata, inductance. Suppose, suppose complete discharge are the capacitor capacitorly, capacitorly, of CV square, complete of Li square matter. Rata. In between that, it has both electrical and magnetic. So only potent, only uh, electrical energy in the of CV square. Only magnetic energy in the of Li square. In between, Okay, now health in fully charged, fully discharged. So fully discharged in the of CV square zero agatha. Only of Li square. Fully discharged in the Fully charged in the of Li square is zero agatha. So, in between that, there is no Hope you understood, Makla. Fine. Okay. Uh, let me stop and we shall continue in the next video. Okay. Thank you.